India has consistently supported Sri Lanka's effort towards relief, rehabilitation, resettlement and reconstruction process in Sri Lanka since 2009. India has provided multi-pronged support, totaling more than US dollar 4 billion to Sri Lanka to tide over its economic challenges. We hope that the government of Sri Lanka will fulfill the aspirations of Tamils for equality, justice and peace and its commitment to implement the 13th Amendment and conduct provincial elections to ensure a life of respect and dignity for Tamils in Sri Lanka. We urge the government of Sri Lanka to work meaningfully towards early implementation of its commitments to ensure that the fundamental freedoms and human rights of all its citizens are fully protected. However, Russia says the artificial hyping of human rights situation in Sri Lanka is counterproductive. We think it's counterproductive to continue the practice of artificially hyping up the human rights situation in Sri Lanka. Despite internal political difficulties, the country's authorities have shown significant progress in stabilizing the economic, social and financial situation in the country and have made significant progress towards national reconciliation. Measures are being taken to expand the space for uh, the functioning of civil society and independent media. The authorities have shown their willingness to build mutually respectful cooperation with international human rights mechanisms. Legislation is being brought into line with international standards when it comes to combating corruption and terrorism and the system of governance and administration of justice is being improved. Sadly, as has often been the case, OHCHR prefers to ignore these and many other positive changes, though, and we again call on OHCHR to refrain from the practice of politicizing the situation in certain countries, including in Sri Lanka, and focus on providing them technical assistance in the human rights sphere. China said that it supports Sri Lanka in safeguarding national sovereignty and independence. China appreciates Sri Lanka's efforts to promote and protect human rights, including reconciliation and uh, reconstruction, combating terrorism, safeguarding the rights of vulnerable groups, promoting economic recovery and improving people's living standards. We firmly support Sri Lanka in safeguarding national so uh, sovereignty, independence, social stability and promoting economic development. We believe that HRC should respect sovereignty and the political independence of all countries and the efforts made by them to promote and protect human rights and play its role for constructive dialogue and cooperation. Pakistan called on international financial institutions to assist Sri Lanka in its continued efforts to tackle the multiple challenges that it faces. We express our resolute support and solidarity with the government and people of Sri Lanka on their path towards stabilization, recovery and development. We also commend the steady progress that Sri Lanka continues to make in fulfilling its human rights obligations. We also commend Sri Lanka's commitment to remain engaged with the human rights machinery. While encouraging Sri Lanka to stay the course on reforms and its efforts to promote rights and domestic accountability, we call on states and in the international financial institutions to assist Sri Lanka in its continued efforts to tackle the multiple challenges that it faces.